So the new Nurgle book just came out. Are you excited to get anything on the table? Yeah, actually, I'm uh, pretty excited to get the Glockin back on the table. It's been a while for this guy. <laughs> you know, Shu, you've gotten so much better at painting. What do you mean? I'm like, I'll show you. What about these guys over here? I'll show you. Check this guy out. Look at the gold. Look at the transitions. Oh my god, did you zenith all this? That is an airbrush test. Check this one out! You bought that for me pre-painted. I did? Oh yeah! It was a really good deal though. But what about this? Dude, there's like two colors on there. Stop being modest. There's three. This is tournament legal. Hey everyone, it's Brent, and I'm back with my Flesh Eater Court army, the Hollow Blind Court which is led by Zathias Gutwretch, the abhorrent arch-regent who has Master of Magic as his command trait. He has the magical artifact, the Dermal Robe, to get plus one to cast, dispel, and unbind. I've got a unit of 20 Crypt Ghouls who are called the Penitent Brethren. I've got three Crypt Horrors who are the Sanctus Guard. And I've now added three Crypt Flayers who are the Wings of Piety. My Triumph is Bloodthirsty, which is important because I've only got 740 points here for this Path to Glory battle. Hey everybody, this is Shu, and this is my Path to Glory army. We have Charizard as my general, the Saurus Sunblood. He has the artifact, the Eviscerating Blade, and his command trait is the Dominant Predator. We have a Saurus Astrolith Bearer, and the Astrolith Bearer is keeping everyone's Zodiac in check. But in this case, I have a new Warlord Battalion I've unlocked from my vault in this Path to Glory campaign, which allows me to take the Arcane Tome artifact, making him into a wizard. He's been accepted into the school of lizard wizards. <laughs> I've been wanting to say that for a while. We have the a new joiner to the party. He's late to the party, but he's ready to rock. He's the Saris Scar veteran on Carnosaur. I have named him... Um, Ty Rantrum. Ty Yes, he is Ty Rantrum. He's everything you want in a Carnosaur. He's equipped with the Celestite Great Blade, which uh, is pretty good. It hits on fours, but, you know, there's bonuses on the charge and that kind of thing. We also have the five Saurus Knights from last time. We have 20 Saurus Warriors, and that is my Path to Glory Seraphon Army, racking in around 810 points. And because Games Workshop only allows Slon and Skink Wizards, I have to pull from the generic list of spells, like a peasant. His peasant spell is going to be Flaming Weapons. It's right out of the core rulebook. You can't miss it. It's on page... 92. It's on page 92. Go ahead and look it up. It's, it's great. It makes <laughs> weapons catch fire and uh, do, more, do, do something. Unless you want Flying Seraphon. No. Sorry. Nobody wants Flying Seraphon. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some Path to Glory, and we are all set up here to explain what is going on. We are playing Hold or Die. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to die. I am the uh, the no the invader here. The which, invader, yeah. yeah, which seems we, we caught you with your hand in the cookie okay, jar. There we go. Yeah, I was like, well, this, these are terrible invaders here. Either way, I've had to split my army up into uh, some. What what do we got? The uh, Knife, vanguards. dagger. <laughs> right, exactly. Shield. The vanguards and the reinforcements. So here are the vanguard, as in uh, these idiots ran forward and then got stuck and surrounded. Uh, and the rest of my army is set up as reinforcements who will deploy at the end of any of my movement phases. But the uh, the conditions here... Now, this is, this is interesting. If both of these units in my vanguard are destroyed, Shu wins a major victory. Then it says if you destroy half of my... Uh, half of my vanguard, including my general, then you win a minor victory. So in this case, you get rid of the general, and if the ghouls live, Shu still wins. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if I lose half my vanguard and my general is still alive, so say you kill the ghouls, then I win a minor victory, and if both of these units survive, I win a major victory. I am not anticipating to win a major victory here, but I'm going for the minor to try and uh, escape the clawed clutches of all of these beautifully painted Seraphon who have now surrounded me. Uh, but as the invader, I get to choose who goes first, and I need to 
get some stuff on the board. I need to get as much distance between <laughs> my general and all of this as possible. So it's gonna be Flesh Eater Quartz, turn one. Yeah, it's the start of my hero phase, so I'm going to use Heroic Leadership with uh, the Abhorrent Arch Regent. So on a four plus, I can get a command point. I'm gonna fail that. Shu, you get a heroic action. What would you like to I'm do? I'm also gonna try heroic leadership and try to get a command point on a four up. Uh -huh. And I find that dice. Cool, and who I gets do. that? That's gonna go onto Charizard, my general. Beautiful. Hero phase. Time for some magic. And uh, I know these ghouls are just sort of my meat shield here, but I need them to be as scary as possible. They need to be a deterrent here. So let's start off with um, just a mystic shield. So I'm going to cast that on a 10 after my plus one for oh, my dermal rope. That, no. Okay, no, so no, they are no. plus one to their save. But I got one more spell, which I'm going to go for Ferocious Hunger. Let's cast on a six. And Ooh. I'm going to get that on a seven. Now, I do have my Master of Magic where I can re-roll a casting attempt. Um, but I have foolishly re-rolled this when it's been successful twice now. <laughs> and then failed it. I've gotten greedy. So I'm going to stay with the seven. Well, I'm going to teach you and try to unbind it. There you go. I'm going to hope go. that you roll a shoe roll here. I don't. With the eight. Ah, eight. Should have been greedy. Fortunately. No ferocious hunger for me. And that will conclude the hero phase. Yeah. Brent, what I, you do? Oh, I rolled a six to run with the ghouls. You did. And they've made it here, which is nice. But they have left the Aborn Arch Regent kind of open. Uh, if Shu gets a double turn, we're going to see what happens. But he also, uh, he used command point to run six inches, so everybody moved 12. He is great. in the arch region. He's a command point to automatically. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I can bring on my uh, reinforcement contingents. Which you did. Uh, which I did. So over here, we brought on the Crypt Flayers. They have to be wholly within seven of the battlefield edge, more than three from the enemy. So they're, they're, they're here. They'll fly over here. But they're widely wholly within <laughs> three. Yeah, I was like, you know, they're... I'm worried about this, but that's 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 good. That makes this game fun, right? But over here, what have I done? First of all, I summoned a Vargulf with my remaining command point, and I also brought on my uh, Crypt Horrors. So mm. I'm not going to charge here. I'm just here to try and create this situation for Shu. Does he want to come and sort these guys out? Uh, is that going to take some time, though, for me to get away? Is he just going to have to keep moving forward, and maybe these guys are going to get a uh, you know a, a charge behind them later on yeah. who knows i've tried to make this difficult i tried to screen the vargulf um with the cryptors he can bring them back of course mm -hmm. maybe i have created um you know this is shaping up to be kind of an interesting battle plan because i feel like sometimes you know you get those yeah battle the, plans where it's like set up all your guys in the middle and then get surrounded and die and then die this doesn't <laughs> feel like it's going to be like that this is uh, already pretty interesting right and in the spirit of, of good youtube i i made made sure that i only took two sides of the table i could have deployed a unit on that's all true. four corners could but have just that's silly and yeah. yeah well you know and maybe this is better because you're you've still got your heroes to give you know your unit buff maybe yeah. spreading out you would have been a little under uh, under supported yeah. Supported. Well, that's going to conclude this turn, actually. So now we're going to move into Shu's Seraphon turn one. This is Seraphon Hero Phase. Shu, what do you got? Seraphon Hero Phase, we're going to do magic. We're going to do a magic from here. We're going to put Mystic Shield onto the boss. Just see if he does. Uh, trying to get it out there in the world. I can't believe he learned to read a book. Yes. Um, the lizard reads. I don't know. Let's see if I'm going to Clever dirty. girl. We're going to mm -hmm. open doors next year. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm You're, running away like a coward. You could have asked me. I would have measured for you. <laughs> no, it's funnier this way. Um, and I get plus one to this. And I can re-roll it. What did you get? Uh, I got an eight. Eight? Okay, let's re-roll that because I didn't get it. Uh, still don't get it. It's not called tie that. So uh, Mystic Shield is yours. Sir. It's applied. And we're going to do a heroic leadership here from the hero as well. And a four up, we get a command point. And do not. I'm going to do the same thing with the Arch Regent. He also does not. He's not being very heroic as he... Uh, issues the order to all of his little munchkins to roll away. Munchkins. Not now, <laughs> you're gonna go to move phase for Seraphon. I gotta make some big decisions here, so uh, we'll come back after the cut. I'm using the Sacred Asterism Great Drake. Gives me plus one to move. Run and charge. Run and charge. There we go. I have fallen for the trap. Uh, these guys <laughs> bought their uh, command point run, bringing them all the way up here. Uh, they spread out a little bit to try to look more menacing. Um, to try to inflate our numbers. My general uh, got a high uh, roll, he got five to run up here, and my Astralis Bear rolled a one 
But I even mean, he's carrying one. that giant banner and yeah. a, a book. <laughs> he's, he's trying to, he's wheezing, trying to get up the stairs. Have you ever moved books? It's the <laughs> worst part of moving. It's, it is true. Moving books sucks. Over here, <laughs> uh, these guys are not moving books. They're booking their move. Uh, they've moved eight this way. The Carnosaur went this way. My hope is that maybe I can scoot around this side uh, with the Longbound Charge, but if nothing else, I'll be able to pile in and maybe maybe do some work. Mm -hmm. And I love that my, um, you know, my, my bait in this case, I don't know, you know, I don't know if this is the right move. Was this the right move? I don't know, because the, it's a move. the important stuff is all the way over there and half your army's off the table, so. Yeah. It made you, well, it's all on the table now, but yeah. uh, it made you make a decision. I did. I don't know if it's gonna be for me the right one. Let's, uh, let's figure it out. We'll find out. Um, yeah, so just want to move to charges. It's the charge phase. Shoot, what do you got? I got a roll of over a three here. For these guys, let's see if I do it. No. Oh, yes. I, I get a four. We I get a five from oh, your yeah. uh, your sacred asterism. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, Which is good enough, I, right? You I just... don't know if five is gonna get everybody in though, and I really want them all to be in. I like want like want to spread. Well, them with out. the pile in, you can, you'll you'll for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, and uh, then uh, charge with the carnosaur. Yeah, yeah. Carna charge. Time run out of charge. Ooh, that's pretty Ooh, good. One. Ten. Yeah. Okay. So let's yeah. uh, let's move these. It's a combat phase. We are piled in and ready to go. It's true. My uh, pumpkin coveter has uh, just pumpkins on his base. Has, has uh, issued a command ability, Sauron Savagery, to these Saurus Knights, which gives them a special bonus on sixes to hit, makes it an extra attack. Mm -hmm. uh, their war spears are two damage on the charge, and they uh, are plus one to hit uh, because of the. Uh, you're in Coatle's Claw. Coatle's Claw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here we go. So, normally hitting fours, hitting out on threes. Six is just special. Mm hmm. Did we have any sixes? Hey, very good. Yeah. Three sixes, they're special. Four sixes. Um, yeah, yeah. Four, six, four so sixes. So, really, all the misses become extra hits? Just get out of here. Boop. Yeah, that's true. All right, so. <laughs> uh, we're going to go back to now wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. No rend on this. Ones and twos, get out of there. That's a, Very good. a remarkably uh, good roll. You got eight here. You know, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm just, just gonna these. roll your dice. I know this is against everything that we believe. Um, and there's no rend <laughs> on that, right? No rend, sir, no. Right, so my five up save is still a five up save, which uh, failing five of them, since I do have a hero nearby, I've got mm -hmm. the Varble. So I'm gonna get my Deathless Courtier's Ward save, so I can ignore these on a six. But that's still gonna be- That's 10. Oh yeah, you're right, because they're two damage each, so. Uh, give me some more dice here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I saved one of them. Uh, and that's it. So there's uh, nine damage. That's that's looking um, not great as we have the cold one attacks and the jaw attacks coming up. So the rider's jaws. Okay, rider's jaws. Exactly. Same thing. Six is a special here. Mm -hmm. And what are Maybe they hitting they're... on with the plus one? They're hitting on a four now cool. with plus one. So uh, threes and ones and twos, mm -hmm. get out of dodge. And uh, uh, adding two more hits in for the right. two sixes. Yeah. There we go. And now wounding on uh, fours. Did we get any? We got one, no, two, four. three, four. I love that's a question for shoot. Did I get any? And you rolled like <laughs> on a four up is like dice. Yeah. Uh, no rend on there. So five up. Hey, uh, three. These are only one damage each, so I can uh -huh. try to ignore these with my six up board. That's another three damage which will bring the unit to 12. They have been slain. A Britannia car combat phase. <laughs> the the Sanctus Guard sacrificed themselves this battle to For protect the Archbishop Sathias Gutteretch. That's yes, true. They protected their liege. Um, but now the ultimate knightly champion needs to defend his honor and swing at the Carnosaur. Let's go, Vargulf. Um, <laughs> he's got his claws here that are hitting on threes. And he is Good. wounding on threes with the claws. So there's three wounds that are a negative one red. So these are going to be five ups here because these uh, normal armor combat saves uh, or armor saves are four. Ooh, Fails all three. So they're normally damage two, going down to damage one. So you're taking three damage thus far, and I've got a bite here, which is also hitting on a three, and I'm going to miss that one. So mm -hmm. you're going to take three damage, sir. All right. And the reason why the damage is reduced is because I'm coalesced, yeah. not the starborn. Freshly painted dinosaur attack time. Yeah, issue. we're just gonna do the massive jaws because this might just close the deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mass like, massive jaws are plus one to hit. Normally oh, hitting on fours, so in this case they're hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Three dice. Uh, that's two, two hits. Two. That's not gonna close. It. Well, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I have eight wounds. Yep. <laughs> I'm winning on threes. 
Nope, Ooh, that's one wound. One. Okay, and uh, it's Ren 2, right? Uh, Ren 1. Ren 1. Ooh. Yeah, damage 4, Ren 1. 6 up. All oh, right, people online were joking about why aren't the dinosaur jaws better Ren? Well, I'm going to fail it anyway. So the 4 damage here. Yep, yeah, that's right. Uh, I get a 6 support save. Failing yeah. them all. So half my health goes away. And uh, can you finish me off with the clawed forelimbs? We're going to try. We're sure going to try. So normally, clawed forelimbs head on a three, but I'm down a profile, so you're hitting on fours. Well, uh, and you get the plus one. So. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Back so to back to threes. So two hits, uh, back to threes. Uh, they, they both hit. Winning on threes. Uh, they both win. And no I, rend. No rend. Five up save here. Make one fail one. How much damage? Two. Two. Just two. Uh, the ward save. Fail those both. I have two wounds left, and you've still got your rider, correct? I do have the rider. So yeah. he's got the Celestite Warblade. Cool. And uh, I think sixes do an extra hit for um, being a Celestite weapon. For, uh, being a Celestite War Spear, uh, it's one extra damage if he has a War Spear, but in this case, mm -hmm. uh, I don't see anything on his War Scroll for that. But let me check. <sighs> okay, I missed it. It was called Cold Frosty. He's named the ability, and on a six. He gets an extra hit, so uh, we're gonna hit you on three. You said the Great Blade, right? Correct. Does the Great Blade only have like three attacks? Three attacks on that one, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's the yep, sorry. But it does more damage, <laughs> so you're all good. Correct, so he's got uh, hitting on threes, because it's plus one. Cool. That and works. now he's wounding on threes. There, no sixes in there, right? No sixes, yeah. Uh, all three <laughs> wound. And uh, rend of one on that? Rend of one on the Great Blade, damage two. So uh, all sixes here, right? Not just one. Okay, well. I've got two wounds left here. Need to make three ward saves for uh, Bargulf. Um, you know, he also has created a diversion for the Archbishop to escape, to continue to preach uh, the word of the Light of Hish. And uh, unfortunately, all these guys have gone to see the Light of Hish. And, uh, but you have played my army. I'm now out of combat. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But uh, dinosaurs win. So you get blood friends, right? You get to run and charge the rest of the game now that the carnosaur has tasted blood and that's going to be the end of the turn as we move into battle round two Yeah, battle round two, robot dice roll off. This is key because I'm wide open here. Yeah, you really need this. But I'm set up to win this because I'm breaking a tie on my two. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm gonna take it. Brent. The Flesh Eater Court's hero phase. Um, heroic action. I'm gonna go for heroic leadership. Big surprise. Okay. Give me a, a command point on four plus. Get that command point. Do not. Shoot, what do you want? I'm going to hold off and use a uh, rogue will to attempt to unbind a spell. Well, let's try and get some uh, spells here. This Mystic Shield is gone, so I'm going to throw Mystic Shield once again on the Crypt Rules. I'm getting plus one to that, so I've got a seven, not tempting fate and rerolling. Mm, so you've got to unbind now. Yeah. Try to will it out of existence with my uh, Charizard. <laughs> he does not. Okay, so Mystic Will's Shield weak. returns to the uh, Crypt Ghouls and... And let's do Ferocious Hunger again. We're yeah. just going to make them hungry. Hungry. So hungry. I'm going to re-roll this. You should. With my Master of Magic command trait. Good thing um, I'm still hungry. going to fail. I'm not that... Ma ma I'm still mastering magic. Yeah. How did it go again? <laughs> Self-proclaimed Master of Magic. No, he actually kind of sucks. And uh, a five is not a six. So uh, It is a game of dice. <laughs> so that'll, uh, that'll conclude the hero phase. I'm going to start moving. We'll come back after moving. I used the command point to run the Archregent, so Thias got Wretch over here, and the Penitent <laughs> Brethren followed closely behind. They rolled a three to their run. And uh, just moved the Crypt Flayers up here. You know, it's like, I, I don't want to just... Now I'm, I'm... Am I going to sacrifice them? Yes, but like, when? So I don't want to just throw them out there like I did with, with those guys. Here they are, um, you know, I'm just trying to give Shu some options. Some things to do <laughs> Some on the on the way do. on our grocery store shopping trip to Tesco <laughs> and to smash your head. Uh, we're gonna you know kill some guys on the way. Beautiful. So that's gonna end my turn. Cool. You ready? It's the Seraphon Hero Phase. Hero phase. And uh, do you want to keep your asterism at plus one to run and charge? I do. I'm gonna need that extra juice. 
Beautiful. So there, there it is. <laughs> it's the Great Drake. You, you just see it. Yeah, you you connect this to that, and that's good enough for a bunch of dinosaur people. Yeah, stars. The <laughs> recessed lighting are not stars. Uh, perfect. <laughs> so he's gonna put Mystic Shield on these guys. Like I didn't quite know what you're pointing at. Like, do you want me to edit something oh, yeah, in the no, video later? Well, that's not a pass. Or is it a five? Uh, it is a five. five. Yes. But let's see. Once again, measure pulling out a tape measure for unbind range. Let's see how good of being a coward I am. I am no. now far enough away from you that I can't unbind <laughs> it, which I'm okay with. <laughs> how sad. So, how sad. Saurus get Mystic Shield. That's very Mystically nice. shielded and magically delicious. What's your heroic action? What are you uh, do? The action, I'm going to try to get a command point on oh, my uh, Tyrannosaur. Um, Beautiful. Uh, he does on a four up. Cool. So, yeah. I'm trying to do the same thing in case you get close to me. And I get that this time. Bonus command point on uh, the arch region over here. All right. All right, that's going to be the end of my hero phase. Beautiful. Now we got a movement phase. We'll recap after we go. And at the end of the movement phase, Saurus moved over here and with a. I rolled a six for my redeploy. Um, it's very hard for me to remember redeploy, so we did that at the end, but whatever. The Crypt players have backed up six. The Saurus moved their five. Uh, Astroleth Bear still struggling to roll more than a one for his run because he's carrying all that weight. That makes sense. This is concerning, however. Um, since Shu used his uh, his command point to make this run roll automatically a six, um, but then it's plus one after the Sacred Asterism, this Carnosaur is quickly <laughs> closing this gap. And uh, especially if Shu gets a double turn here, that Carnosaur is already on me in turn three, yikes. But uh, we're gonna go into charges because it's still possible for Shu to send the Saurus all the way over here to slap these Cryptovers. You just gotta get boxcars. And yeah, we'll see, it's charging for Saurus. What do you, yeah, I was like, oh, what do you got here? Yeah, we're gonna need like a, a 10 to get here. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so let's try to charge the Saurus. No. That's, uh, yeah, you I can with that plus one, but you can reroll from re your drummer. Yes. Oh, from the drummer, right? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, even worse. Okay, so they were disheartened by the uh, the redeploy. <laughs> like, oh. like, we still don't understand this rule. We'll never get there. Yes. <laughs> but that's going to end this turn. So now we move into battle round three. I'm closing in. It's a robot dice. Roll off. And once again, I'm breaking ties, which is good. Because get me out of here. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, do, you, do you want you want to go next? Do you wanna... I'm, I'm going to think. I have okay. to. Well, that's going to be a uh, Seraphon on turn three. Sacred Asterism is staying the same. we got to make sure that we have all the juice on the field we can. We need fuel. It's still there. Stars. <laughs> still on the line. Okay, <laughs> lights have not. If the lights are ever not in alignment in this room, please tell us. <laughs> please. We're in imminent danger. It's cursed. <clears throat> We're dead. Right. Uh, the house is haunted. We're gonna die. So uh, we are, however, gonna do heroic recovery on that guy, which means I need to roll under my bravery. Historically, I've only ever rolled higher than an eight. Let's see what happens. I do it again. Well, I get one wound back. You get one wound back. I was like, that's that's pretty good for for you, right? Yeah, it's pretty good for me. Oops. I don't. <laughs> what did it? Where did it? It rolled against your dudes. What? It's like Whoa. it's like a pizza pie. Yeah. It went rolling on. <laughs> I just want to say, if your movement dial can reach the guys you're about to charge, that's not looking good for me. That's a bad <laughs> if, omen. You could accidentally roll and move yeah, dial. Yeah, like, oh, so it's. it's not that, it's <laughs> well, I need to get him up a profile because it's costing him an inch. Do I have how many wounds I have on him? Right uh, now? Two. So I think two. you are back. Back to top profile. Very good. You got your extra inch back. I need that uh, critically. It's going to come down to the very inches. And Brent, trust me, is out there with a the micrometer, just making sure that I'm getting every single. Um, in narrative, spec. you must, oh, you must scrutinize every, <laughs> every inch. Of inch is, no, Brent's yeah. not really doing that. No, I don't even know if my is the right tool. This is definitely a good tournament battle plan. Okay, <laughs> um, so for my heroic action, I'm gonna. What are you doing? I'm also. I'm going for heroic leadership. I'm gonna need, you know, to do some redeploys or whatever. I got it. That's that's great. Yeah, um, I'm out of 
little command points. Whatever, I'll put one over there for now. He's got an extra command point. In you the have blue spells, sir. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. give me that. Uh, you have spells, though. Would yeah, you... I'm gonna do Mystic Shield on the boys here. Actually, you can put it on the boss. Oh, okay. Is he holy within 12? Ooh, that's a good question. I think he might be. It might be. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I was like, oh no. I mean, and I've been like thinking so much about this guy. I've been thinking about these guys. I forgot that, you know, Charizard is the MVP here. And he's almost, Man, that's, he's that's, almost on my goals too. Debatable. What does it look like on camera? Um, as in like, will, my, will the viewers say that you're cheating? <laughs> uh, I mean, right here. Yeah, that, that, yeah you're holy. It's so close. You're holy within 12. Uh, okay. Well, we'll try. Here we go. Mystic shield. He's gonna fail anyways. No, he did not got fail it. it. Um, let me try and stop mind. that though. I don't want you to have. You gotta enough. beat that. You beat that. I beat that with a twelve. <laughs> he's de he's truly desperate now. So. Down to the micrometer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. And uh, yeah, then um, that's the hero phase. That's it for the hero phase. Mm, let's do some movement. We'll come back after movement. Faster, faster. Must go faster. Okay, many of you have asked us to continue to film the movement phase, and we're like, nothing interesting happens during the movement phase. We're just talking about fart jokes or whatever, but this actually is kind of interesting. I've got my 17-inch move from here. We're putting me outside <laughs> three of the of the ghouls here, and I'm keeping him outside of nine of, of Brent's general just a little bit so he can't redeploy his gen. Can't redeploy the general, but I can redeploy the ghouls. Save him! Yeah! Okay, let's try and set up the best... Yep. With my six inches, set up the best screen that I can, and I will come back. You got this, Brent. Okay, Brent has redeployed. That's where I wound up, and I used his uh, freebie command point from command point from heroic leadership to do that. So mm -hmm. the ghouls, they're still running away. That's why they're all turned away from this dinosaur. This is the best shot. It's no message there. The best yes. shot in the game. <laughs> no message there at all. Uh, yeah, like more more specifically here, uh, you know. Our commitment to you is that if something happens during the movie phase that is interesting, we will film it. And uh, we'll just leave you with this uh, parting shot here of all these ghoul butts <laughs> telling that car and sort of kiss it. Okay, finalizing the movement phase, the Saras have moved over here to try to get uh, close to these guys. Brent, do you want to redeploy re again? Well, I already redeployed, so. Right, right. Redeploy oh, right. You can't do it twice. Yeah. So they're gonna. Because they heard someone yell redeploy over here. Yeah. <laughs> They're hopefully going <laughs> to fight, fight stars over here somewhere. Uh, the um, Astral Affair has run up to join them. If you can think of a good Pokemon name for this guy, I need it. I mean, you rolled another one to run, so... Uh, Something slow. Slow, yeah. Yeah, Bubble Zora might slow be good. Slowpoke. Uh, Slowpoke? Slow... Yeah. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Or uh, maybe even <laughs> um, something with a sign on it, if you can figure that out. <laughs> Uh, Charizard ran from here to here, or didn't run, he's... Yeah, he's getting ready for charge. Yeah, he's gonna attempt to charge. Now we want to point out, we've been uh, calling the Sacred Asterism the Great Drake. That's actually ah. the, the plus one attack uh, Sacred Asterism. It's actually the Hunter's Steed, which makes a lot more sense now that we think about it, but um, names are nonsense and we are gonna call it whatever we want. Yeah. You've, we've played it right. We just, you know, come up with a new name for it right now. It's it's, it's Sonic's Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic, uh, Sonic goes fast, yeah. <laughs> okay, so is that the end of the movement phase? Let's do some charges. Beautiful. Starting off big in the charge phase. Carnosaur. Now he's plus one. He's gonna go so seven. you get a seven. You just wanna... Yeah, just scoot him on in. <laughs> Great. And uh, they Char ran, so... Charizard? Charizard? Yeah, they ran. Yeah. Charizard's gonna try. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. <laughs> uh, let's measure where this can get you. <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't close this gap because I was like, I'm, f I'm fine, right? Yeah. I didn't like move them more. What's the kind of do? Run up the building? <laughs> 13 inch charge here. Still didn't get the general, but you know, they've got this grudge that's going on. You you char made a long bomb charge and like yeah. smacked me in the face last time. Yeah, I'm gonna make you watch. You're close, you're, you're behind the screen. I'm gonna make you watch. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that, but over here. Yeah, let's the, see if I can get these the uh, noble Saurus. 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 Yeah. The noble Saurus. The humble Saurus. With a uh, plus one, that's an eight. You want to oh, go for that? Oh, oh yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, it makes it, so might as well. Yeah, they're going to do that to you. They're going to come over. Well, I've got to unleash hell on you. Yes, for command you should. Point. Okay. So once you make the move, let's just do this now because it'll be easier. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be within three inches uh, so I don't need to subtract anything from my roll. So rolling 2d6 for each Crypt Flare for their Scream. And if I roll higher than your Bravery, you take that many mortal wounds. So 
So let's roll real hot here. So oh, starting boy. off with two mortal wounds. Crypt Flayer number two. Uh, nothing there since your bravery eight. Okay, so just two mortal wounds. But let's see if I can shrug that with oh, my yeah. Astralis Ward save. Sixes. Slow Astralis Bearer. Nope. He doesn't <laughs> save anybody. He's mostly yeah. useless. Okay, so we can move that charge and then we're good. We forgot about Monstrous Rampage before because there hasn't been any monsters in this campaign yet. But now there is. Now there is. And now it's crucial. I'm going to roar at you. You're going to roar at me. All right. Yep. Uh, wow. Roll me a D6 and a 2+. plus. Yep. The ghouls cannot issue or receive commands. So uh, no feeding frenzy for them. Sad. Mm. Hey, we want to point something out. Because I was like, now I can't do feeding frenzy. Oh, yeah, I could have done feeding frenzy before with the Vargul. That's right. Um, so we just went back and we did a little combat phase. Right. And uh, I put two wounds, actually, back on the Carnosaur. So, again, that wouldn't have affected his movement enough. He still would have been able to get close enough. He rolled a big charge. You mm -hmm. know, no issue there. But we did drop him two more wounds, which will affect the damage on the Carnosaur. Yep. It's just giving me a little bit of a benefit as uh, I'm screaming in terror as dinosaurs <laughs> descend upon me. So yeah. thank you, Shu, for uh, yeah, of course. going back. Not into. much has happened with that unit since then. <laughs> uh, and we we actually did math out the movement, so the movement is not hindered. Yeah, it would have been good. It's totally fine to roll that off camera for what we did. But uh, start of the combat phase, then. What yeah. would you like to do? You've got a command ability. I do have a command ability. I'm mm -hmm. going to use that command ability on myself from the Scar Veteran. It's going to use Saurian Savage. Savagery. And so, like, he already, you know, gets, when mm -hmm. he rolls sixes, he does an extra it's hit. hit with but the, the Carnosaur yeah. doesn't, so why not give that to yourself? And yeah. uh, now everybody on sixes is getting extra hits. So, uh, with that in mind now, who do you want to fight with first? Okay, so if I go with the Carnosaur first, I might be able to empty the queue over That's true. there. You kill the um, ghouls. Pile in three. Yeah. With Charizard later on. So I mm -hmm. think I have to try that first before I lose any more wounds in the profile for either of those guys. Makes um, sense. Even though they're both buffed to the nines. Uh, and over here, uh, this is this is a juicy combat for me to start because I know that you're going to do a lot of damage. But um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take my chances there. We're going to go with the Carnosaur first. Sounds great. Carnosaur combat. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to go with the Cod Four Lens first. Hitting on threes, winning on threes. Sixes are special after the buffs. No sixes. And then wounding on threes. That's a wound. No and rend. No rend. So my normally amazing six up save. Still got Mystic Shield. I got a five up. Come on, make this. Uh, that's a one. one, unfortunately. So it's just one damage? Two damage. Two damage, okay. Uh, and I've got a ward safe here since my hero's nearby. Uh, make one fail one. So one ghoul has been slain thus far from the clawed four limbs. What else you got? Uh, we have Massive Jaws. <laughs> Three attacks there. Uh, <laughs> six is a special. Mm -hmm. Plus one to hit. Uh, so it's going to be three's a hit, three's a wound. Beautiful. Uh, three attacks here. Oh, there's that six. And that's an extra dice. I, I fell one. So mm -hmm. that's going to be three wounds. Three is to wound. And, and uh, uh, yeah, rend one. Negative one rend. Okay. I know the internet's been joking about the rend one dinosaur jaws. Come on. Six up save. Ah, uh, the internet didn't joke enough about it. Um, so this is 12 damage? Yeah, they're four each. Oof. Uh, Ooh, okay, so let's, let's do this. 12 damage. With my deathless courtiers. Whoops, I bumped him. Mm -hmm. He was within. He was within range. If uh, the pylon comes to that, which it very well might. Mm, not Whoa, so good no. on the six-up ward. There's just eleven more dead ghouls. Let me take those away. Oh my gosh, he has an extra jaw attack. Coldest claw. We forgot it. Well, it's not yeah, it's coalesced. Yeah. Oh, coalesced. Yeah, threes yeah. and threes. Six are special. Uh, <laughs> six to hit are special. Well, yeah, six yeah. special. So another six up armor save. That's a failure. And another four ward saves. Yeah. Hey, I made one, but that's three more ghouls out of there. But now the Scar Veteran gets to swing. All right, he's hitting on threes, winning on threes. Six is a special to hit. No sixes, but he's hit all three and winning on threes. Just two. And uh, rend one? Rend one, yes. Or six up saves. Hey, make one fail one, but you said it's two damage? Uh, two damage on the ward. Damage. Great blade, yes. Ward saves. Fail those. I've only got four ghouls left. Still pinned in place. And, uh, but you've got your bites with the... Does the yeah, does the, he have bites? Does he have bites? He or is he, is he up yeah. too high? It's, uh, clawed forelimbs, massive jaws, and the great blade. Well, he bites at the air. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> ghouls. You, you pinned Charizard to save the Archbishop for another round. 
Brent, what's going on over here? I have piled in the Crypt Flayers. And they're attacking the Saurus. You got a command ability for me? I do. I'm going to use uh, all at defense for That's extra. Great. I just threw my token in there. I mean, extra <laughs> as armor safe. Sure. Um, and, safe. you know, I've I've got. I do have command, abil- command points to use. What are you going to do with them? You know what? Whatever. Let's just give them a plus one to hit. <laughs> all right. I know we did that our order for whatever. Uh, hitting on threes. Sixes get, do more get, wounds in addition. Hey, Six. there we go. Those threes help. So we have one mortal wound so far. And I'll take it. These are wounding on threes. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Take this. Right to the top. Ten chops. wounds with a negative one rend. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. So their armor save is uh, four. Yeah, base four. Rend one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so we, you know, our all out defense, the rend one cancel each other out. So we got ten wounds with... Roll your dice. I'm just gonna roll your dice. You me, I mean, I need a shoe roll here. I'm, you really do. I'm in de- <laughs> dire straits. Four ups. That's pretty. Close. That's that's a good shoe roll. That that's a good one. Pretty good. Okay, so <laughs> that's seven. Um, yep. And then let's throw the mortal wound in there. So you got eight ward saves though, because you've got your little uh, yep. astrolith bear. Astrolith bear. Everyone's probably within he's, twelve. He's gonna make these go away on six Uh mm-hmm. One. Okay. Away. I will take that. Two, so three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, guys. seven swords in the grave. Fight it. I'm going to pile in with my new yeah. guy here, just a little bit. Eh, yeah, which enough. will put me within, sneaky, sneaky. Put me within three of your general, which means that you're in locked in combat. You cannot um, run. No. If you, yeah. When I retreat next turn, since this is third edition. Just gotta move my base six. I can't combine a run roll. Sneaky, sneaky. You but uh, you wanna you wanna punch these cannot hide. <laughs> yes. four remaining crypt ghouls. This is Charizard's favorite thing to do is punch ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, let, we're gonna break this down too. You know, yeah. If you kill this unit, you actually get a renown point since this is part of my vanguard, uh, whatever contingent. All right, right. So he's gonna get a renown point for charging 13 inches and punching these guys in the face. Um, and also it's going to deny me the major victory. That's true. I can get a minor if my Arch Regent survives, but I'm down to a, I mean, I'm not confident I'm getting any sort of victory, <laughs> but if I'm going to get a victory, yeah, it's a minor. Okay, so uh, Charizard is stacked up with buffs. He's kind of ridiculous. He's got the, uh, <laughs> Uh, eviscerating Blade artifact for being part of Cole's Claw, which he needs to have, which means that six to hit in this case are going to cause a mortal wound in addition two to the normal wounds. Two mortal wounds in addition to the normal hits. Um, the And then his sixes to wound are going to be another mortal um, wound in addition. addition. Correct. He's so awesome that also his sixes to hit would normally trigger two hits, but in this case, since you can't have, you have to choose which trigger you use in third edition. Uh, you know, he's he's ignoring some of his rules because he's just that awesome. He's he's yeah. drowning in rules. He's drenched in rules. And I'm gonna use a command point, I think, for uh, all the attack. Well he's already plus one to hit because he charged. Or, so. Oh the right, okay. Yeah, no the, need there. Good point. Yeah, good point. So Well then I don't rules, need to... can you kill them? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think let's try. Let's try. Earn your renown. Let's just get four sixes off the rip. No. <laughs> okay, well, you got two. Um, and you hit every time. There's not two. Oh, yeah, there's two more ones. I see. Yeah, yeah. Hit every time. That's right. Yeah. And uh, can you get two more sixes? I can. Okay. So okay. let's just, just the five mortal wounds alone. Yeah, they're, they're toast. Four of them. So that's going to earn Charizard a bonus renown. Because if uh, in this battle plan, if you wipe out either of the Vanguard detachment units, I mean, he earned that renown. He charged 13 inches to punch them in the... In like the a, face, like too, a wrecking right? ball. He did not. <laughs> he didn't want to. He didn't want to attack them from the front. So no, or from no, the back. No, cowardly. One attack each. There's Celestite Club. The front row is going to attack you. The champion is in that row. We're gonna go with hitting on threes, winning on threes, plus one because we charged. Um, Way to go, Saurus. Hey, what wow, good. That's a good roll. Um, and then let's do some. Let's see if they can wounds. The same, similar. Uh, two going to go away. So I'll give you three. One, two, three. All right, and uh, you got a rend of one, right? I do, rend one. All right, I get a six up save, fail them all, so that's three damage onto the crypt players. No yeah. ward saves since yeah, I got no bite hero. You. We're gonna bite you now. And the so. bites, and uh, what, two attacks each for each yeah, bite? Two. Yeah, so we got another 12 attacks coming in. And you know, we're looking at it here, or I'm looking at it here, 
I have to see what I can do in my turn. Yeah. It might just be time to, yeah, you, you know, might no. just bottle out. I can't give up. I can't give you up. You can't give up, Brent. Well, you, you can. You can absolutely give up. I might give up. We're going we're we're to find out. <laughs> okay, powerful draws. Plus one to hit. They're hitting up fours. That was a drop. Not not counting the drops. Yeah, well, uh, depends on the fate of the players, right? Let's go away. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, it, a lot will depend on the fate of players, because that's like literally when what allows you to bottle out or not. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then we're going to go to the uh, damage on four plus the powerful jaws. Not that powerful, I guess. Three more. Uh, yeah, so three more. Can be three and more. no rent. Five up on those. Hmm, so it's going to be two damage. Kill a flare. Wound another. And uh, it looks like they survived. Yeah, and we don't have 15 anymore, thanks to the... Uh, pugilation you did that's true round, it, so surprisingly killed quite a few guys so yeah. uh end of well you know that's the end of the combat phase battle shock you did lose nine saurus this turn right or can we yeah, yeah nine. you can auto pass it please we'll use that last it. command point yeah, we'll do that. um and i'm bravery 10 minus one since you have your little saurus banner mm -hmm. bravery eight still okay my little saurus banner i'm not afraid of that around here <laughs> i'm not afraid of <laughs> Art. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to go move into my turn. Let me think about this. Brent's thought about it. I've thought about it, and YouTube, you, you can hate me. You can be like, why do you hate fun? We're looking for uh, fun detected. No. What? <laughs> we're playing this campaign for, for you know, a few more games. Ah. I unfortunately am going to have to retreat at the start of my hero phase. So, Zathias got wretch. And the remaining two uh, wings of piety, they're gonna run away. Which so what's gonna to fight another day? Right. So Shu is going to win the major victory. However, he's got two more turns here to uh, complete his quest, which is end in uh, end with units in uh, my your, territory. Your, your territory. Yeah, my territory, the enemy territory. Yeah. So he will absolutely be able to move at least two units into. This square here, great. Over here, wow. Okay, so Shu will complete his quest that he started in the previous game. He's going to earn one extra artifact. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go into some post game because we've. Uh, here, oh, look. Um, kind of another thing to think about too, since you lost seven Saurus. Mm -hmm. If we go through like how many turns of, um, what of uh, what's it called? What's it called? Rally. Would Shu get? We're gonna pause. Oh. We're gonna do that because uh, that'll affect how many casualty rolls he rolls at the end of the game. Yeah, do the rally rolls. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Of course, they're gonna bring you along for the rolls. Uh, okay, so <laughs> because I've only got... Shu could possibly fail this. <laughs> That's true. I've got not uh, five attempts right. at rallying because it's gonna go my turns. turn, and then we've got two more battle rounds after that. Right. right. That that effectively still happen even though the yeah, game yeah. is over. Uh, mm -hmm. Brett has left. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna do the rally rolls and sixes means I get to stand up one of those dead warriors. So let's see what happens. Oh boy. Good it's start. Three. Good it's a good start. start. Good start. So we'll bring back three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and then remove three dice from the pool. Oh, that's right. Because right. got six dead. Three, three dice were removed from the pool. Yep. And now we're going to roll another rally. No okay, sixes nice. in that battle. Uh, volley. Rally two. Yep. Try again. Yep. Rally three. Just keep it track with dice over there. <laughs> Just number three. Same number. Oh, there's oh, some sixes. That's... We've got two more coming back. And those dice are removed from the pool. Rally we now four. Have four guys remaining. And uh, rally number four, we have two more rolls here. Ooh, oh, there's one, one guy. So okay. he'll, he'll come back. Final rally, three sixes. Can you heal the whole unit? Yeah, of course. Three sixes. Hey, nope, this bad. one. This so one. Uh, you're losing the bad two, yeah. well, you'll make two injury or casualty rolls at the uh, in the end of the game. That's right. And uh, we'll, we're gonna do the post game wrap up. This is a recap. Best Path to Glory recap I can do for my army. Um, I am missing three Crypt Ghouls after all of my uh, casualty rolls and a reroll. I spent a glory point to reroll one of those ones and saved it. So missing three. Not missing anybody in uh, any other units. They're all okay. I rolled another small settlement. I only have small settlements. It's uh, <laughs> I, I love small settlements, I guess. Uh, and then with the Crypt Flayers and my uh, General. They each got a Renown for surviving the battle. Surviving the battle. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I gave four more Renown points to my Crypt Horrors, who then leveled up. They will get a Veteran ability, which I'll pick later on. 
and with my then five remaining glory points since i had six uh down to one then with my five i reinforced my crypt horrors added another three to that unit it's now a unit of six mm -hmm. for shu uh all everybody in his army got a, a renown for surviving the battle charizard got an extra for taking out one of my vanguard units uh, he gave four more renown points to his Saurus Astrolith Bearer, and he had to... The Saurus are fine, but he had to use a glory point to re-roll one of the casualty rolls. So no dead Saurus, but that was one of Shu's nine glory points. So then he actually spent... or He rolled uh, a large settlement, which reduces the cost, the glory point cost, of units that are not heroes by one. So he was able to buy a unit of Croxagores for only three glory points and then spend four glory points on a Skink Star Priest. So he banked one glory point, mm -hmm. saved that, but then added two new units to his... Uh, to the roster. To his, uh, yeah, roster. And that's it. <laughs> Hide that thing. Hide that thing. Okay, we're going to do uh, a realm talk. And I would just want to start out pointing out we had fun. This is about the furthest, not because of this, but I'm just saying, this is about the furthest from match play that I think you could get because this game was all about me running away mm -hmm. from Shu. But we had a lot of fun. What do you think, Shu, as as the winner? What do well, you got? I mean, winning's always a good time. But, uh, you know, when you have to go on the chase, it's like, it's a little scary because, I mean, there's some tactics involved in that and trying to eke every little inch out of your movement. Mm -hmm. Um but I mean, it's it's a. Uh, I'm not just moving the pieces forward, which is nice, and I'm not just like, you know, putting stuff on an arbitrary objective marker, which I love. Um, I I love the fact that there's some kind of narration here, some kind of, some kind of story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess we'll figure out the the details of it later. But something of, uh, I I went where I shouldn't belong, and then got surrounded by Seraphon and had to get out of there. It was I did escape. But not in the way that was successful. I, uh, mm. I <laughs> my escape was a failure in this instant. You but, dropped something. Um, you know, again, it, this is such a different way to like this battle plan. Such a different way to play Age of Sigmar. I feel like we're, this is going to be memorable. This is going to stick with oh, us. Oh, for sure, for sure. Of, uh, I mean, being chased by, and this is this is the opposite of new model syndrome. Carnosaur did awesome. Yep. And just to have, I'm, I'm just visualizing all of my ghouls and my arch regent running away from a, uh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex chasing him down. <laughs> Pretty awesome. But in the end, uh, you know, he was, he, he was great, but it, it looks like Charizard would not be one upped by this, this new old er, uh, scar veteran on Carnosaur. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the real general and he showed Everybody, what he's made of by charging right. 13 inches and <laughs> finishing off those nine, nine mortal wounds or whatever. There's like heads flying <laughs> up in front of the car and I start his face. Yeah. yeah. Basically confirming there was, there was no hope for uh, escape from my arch region. And like I said, although maybe that seems less fun for YouTube, we're doing a whole campaign here. Yeah. Uh, it didn't make sense to keep playing and then just, you know, risk it, uh, an injury roll on my uh, arch region. Yeah. yeah. So no, ri no risk for that biscuit. Yeah. This is a marathon, <laughs> not a sprint. There we go. That's yeah, a very yeah. good point. But yeah. um, I, I do I was surprised that I did like seven. I mean, with the screams too, I, I killed nine Saurus with the Crypt Flayers. That's like the first time I've ever done any sort of substantial damage with them. That is, of course, because Shu can't roll four plus armor attacks. <laughs> so I was, that's for true. me personally, that was my my <laughs> favorite roll for my army, but I gotta say, the, the 13 inch charge with Charizard is probably my favorite part. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just, it's like Wrecking Ball. I mean, the, the, the funny part about you, uh, about the four up thing, is that you actually said, but you can't roll four up, and then, yeah, like, I, and then I commenced <laughs> to not roll four up. Yeah, I need to do that more often. I need to just tell Shu, like you're, yeah. you're gonna roll back. Yeah, you just tell me what's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll be um, we'll be back with more Path to Glory soon. And uh, thanks for thanks watching. for watching.